Relix CAD for Revit. Welcome to the presentation of the latest features of Relux CAD for Revit. With this version, it is possible to perform real photometric lighting calculations directly in Revit, based on Relix's radiosity calculation core, without having to switch to Relux desktop. The first step is to assign a usage profile to a room so that we know its room usage, and thus the requirements of the lighting standard. Then we start the Easy Lux tool, which calculates the required number of luminaires and distributes them evenly in the room. In doing so, we get photometrically correctly calculated results. Thanks to the connection to the calculation core, we receive not only the average lighting intensity but also various other important values such as uniformity. When the nominal values are reached, the results are displayed in green. Press the apply button to place the luminaires in the model. In the extended room stamp we can see the most important calculation results as well as the nominal values, and whether we have reached them or not. We now do the same for another room. In the results overview we now see that we have not reached the uniformity. This value is displayed in red. We can now correct this by selecting a different luminaire, adjusting the number of luminaires or adjusting other parameters. If the automatic calculation is activated, the results will be updated with each change, so we will get to the correct result in a short time. This option can be disabled so that we can set the parameters freely, and then start the calculation manually. In the Room Manager we can perform the calculation and placement for several rooms, or for the whole building. We assign a usage profile to the selected rooms. In the calculation parameters, we can set the reflection degree and the work plane height. The latter is set directly to the correct height when a usage profile is assigned. In the Easy Lux column, we can see all the luminaires that are already in the room, as well as the assigned luminaire for the basic lighting. If no luminaire has been defined, this can be done by clicking on the basic lighting button. The basic luminaire can then be automatically placed in the selected rooms. If there are already luminaires in the room, we can decide whether to include them in the calculation or to remove them. The results of the radiosity calculation are then displayed in the results column. Again, values that fall below the target values are marked in red. For rooms that do not reach the target values, a warning sign is displayed, which takes us to the Easy Lux dialog. Here we can again influence the placed lights to reach the target's values. In one room there are already some individually placed lights.
We can calculate this manually using the Calculate button in the ribbon. The calculation results can be output in different forms. On the one hand, the false color diagram can be projected onto the rooms. In addition we have the possibility to output the illuminance in tabular form. The overview shows us in color which average illuminance is required in which rooms. In the room list we can see the calculation results as well as in the last column whether the target values have been reached or not. Summarized we can output these results on a plan per floor or for the complete building.